Sci-Fi Ship Controller has an extensive combat system. It is configurable in the editor or at runtime. In this tutorial, we'll explain how to set up and configure weapons in the editor. Although more features will be added in future releases, the basic setup will still apply. In the Ship Control module, the Combat tab includes different damage systems, respawning options and weapons. In this release, there are two types of weapons, fixed and turret projectile weapons. A projectile could be anything from a ballistic shot, a rocket propelled missile or a photon light energy package. Projectiles can travel in a straight line or can be affected by gravity, it's your choice. Projectile prefabs are configured by adding projectile module script to the parent game object of the projectile mesh. Projectile prefabs should not include a collider, however they can include custom scripts, particle systems or sound effects. You can also use your own assets or ones that you've purchased from the asset store. Before setting up weapons, it can be helpful to turn off other ship gizmos in the editor. So we'll go to the Physics tab. Let's just turn off the center of mass. And on the thrusters, let's just turn off all of the th thruster gizmos. And on aero, we don't have a wing, but we do have a control service. Let's just turn off that. And then back on the Combat tab, we can see just the weapon we added earlier. And we can select that weapon and we can move it to a relative position on our ship. We could also have our weapon with multiple fire points or multiple barrels, cannons, whatever. So we'll go down to our weapon and we'll turn on multiple fire points and we'll offset one of them by 0.5 and let's add another one on the other side 0.5 there we go by default the fire direction is a vector 3 forwards or one on the z-axis so if we were to change that to maybe a 45 degree angle you'll see the direction, the fire direction of the weapon changes in the scene to reflect that. We're just going to keep the default because we want our weapon to fire straight ahead. We'll add a projectile prefab, like one, one you created earlier or one that comes bundled with sci-fi ship controller. We'll just add him in there. You'll see we also have a reload time for this weapon. And we can change that however we like. Now, we want to link our weapon to a fire button. So we want, so when the user presses a control, whether that be on a, a controller like Xbox controller or Sony DualShock or a joystick or the keyboard or whatever you have configured um, you want to link that up to and we can have for fixed projectiles we can have primary or secondary fire button we'll get to auto fire shortly now this fire button is configured in our player input module so if I look down here in my player input module I have it set 
to uh, my left mouse button. For non-player ships, weapons can be fired in code, and multiple weapons can be fired at the same time from the same fire button. It is also possible to switch weapons at runtime in code. We can have unlimited ammo for this weapon, or we could configure that to a set value. We can also update that value as required at runtime in code. For a turret weapon, let's just switch over to another scene I have. Let's have a look at this ship I have here. You can see they have a couple of turrets already and have some localized damage regions. Let's just go down to the weapons. We have a cannon at the front here and it has two fire points just like in our other, with our other weapon we set up earlier. We have two turrets located on the ship. And you can see I have this turret here and it has a couple of pivot points. So I have my pivot point for my turret itself. The whole turret can turn around. Or I have the barrel which can elevate up and down. And this sample turret comes with the project. But you could build your own as well. OK, so let's go and have a look at how we configured that. So I have a turret Y pivot and a turret X pivot for the gun, the barrel to be operating. I also have some limits, so I don't want my um, turret to be able to swivel right around and blow up my um, my own ship, or uh, I don't want it to fire into the deck. So I've got some um, extent limits. I also have a turret move speed, so my turret doesn't instantly just snap on to a uh, potential target. It can rotate at a particular velocity and I can change that as well. All these values I can also change in code at runtime. And you'll notice that I have the auto fire enabled here. I could link this up to say my secondary fire button so I can come but because I have a couple of turrets I actually want it to auto fire at a target. Now I can set that target in code um, and I could also uh, I could also use a sample script I've got here to do that for me. I'm going to create an empty game object in my scene. Let's just call it assign target and I'm going to drag my sample code in here uh, sample weapon assigned target onto that I'm going to add my ship and enemy target I've got another uh, ship in the scene and I need to um, assign my weapons. OK, so those weapons were called uh, front turret left and right. OK, so let's just go and add them in there. OK, should be ready to go. Let's give that a try. And you'll see if I just pause it and we zoom in. In this case, the first turret here is firing on the ship, but the second turret isn't because it can't turn far enough um, to face backwards here. 
uh, because it doesn't want to risk hitting another part of the ship. So that's fully configurable. Well that's all we have for this tutorial. Please check out our forum or contact us on Discord if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.